So you've just got your new harmonica, whatever it is, doesn't matter, any, any make. Today we're going to have a look at setting up your new harmonica. This particular one we're going to work on is a Sunny Boy special. You see that glinting away little beauty. First thing you're going to do is play it. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, no real problems. Very airy, those are very, very breathy. So the most important thing you can do with setting up your own harmonica is do the gaps. Now, every harmonica will play out of the box to some extent. Some of them will play very well, some of them will not play very well. It's a bit potluck. So I reckon that Every harmonica you buy, no matter how good it is, how expensive it is, how cheap it is, you'd want to just set it up for your own personal taste. It's a bit like um, when you get in a car. You want to check the mirrors in the right place, seats comfortable. It's just that. It's nothing, it's nothing more than that. You're not talking about doing mechanics on it. So let's take a quick look. Um, let's look at the lower reed plate. Read gaps. Now, what we're looking for is the shadow. Can you see that shadow just under that guy? Way too high. If it was reduced down to about there, can you see that shadow? That will be much better. It'll play much better. It's more responsive. That one again is too wide a gap. We can get him down. Uh, these ones at the top, they can afford to be pretty much flat level with the reed plate here because the way I understand you measure it is this the, the the height of the reed from that angle should be the height of the gap if you see what I mean so these are very thin so there's hardly any gap these are going to be thicker so there's a bigger gap how do you get them down well they're just a metal spring so you just gently push them down this is a paper clip not a paper click, a paper clip, the old fashioned one. So I don't want to press it down and just force it because that'll just, just bend it. So I want to just tease it down till it looks about right. Let's just play it because we'll, we'll hear the difference. And the blow is breathy as well. Uh, where are we? Okay, so we're going to reduce this. Just I'll just do whole one. And the, the principle's the same on, on all of them. That uh, looks a lot better to me. You just have to readjust its memory. It's only a spring. That looks pretty good. Um, now, for the blow reed. Yeah, draw reed's nice. For the blow reed, uh, I could take the cover plate off, but instead of which, I'm just going to push this guy up here. Can you see that? So I just want to reduce that. It's a little bit awkward doing it. Back up there we go. Can you see him now? So I'm actually looking in the in this part here. I'm looking at the shadow here now. So if I was to... Oh, then you can't see it. If I was to press it down from there, you can see Big shadow, big gap. Small shadow, small gap. Let's try that now, see if that's any better. Okay, well it's it's much better. You can also just do it with a thumbnail, you just press them in a wee bit. So that's the first stage. Um, the next thing, that's all you need to do, really that's all you need to do with any harmonica. You buy a Lee Oscar or a Hona or anything and you're going to want to look at the, the gaps because that's the that's the critical thing. Then you get to the next level is uh, what they call embossing. So they will use something, not this, but something driving it along the reeds, sorry, along the gaps. I'm not going to do it on this one. And what you're doing is you're, you're reducing the slot so that there's less air leakage. That's the general idea of it. I'm not going to even try and do it. So you reduce that, reduce that, that's called embossing. And then there's arcing, which I'm not going to attempt either, where the 
read, if that was the read, you can see the rivet there, would it be flat like that? Would it be this kind of profile? Would it be this kind of profile? I don't know, I'm not an expert. But that's arcing. So that's another thing you can do. Um, tuning is another thing you can do, but they should all be fairly well tuned as they come out of the box. That's it, I reckon. I hope that's been helpful. So just check the gaps. That's all it is. Check your gaps. Mind your gaps and set them up to suit you. Okay, thanks. Yeah.